Welcome to Hacking Ninja Gaiden, uh, the Free Play ROMs, episode two of many. I actually have no idea how many episodes will be in this, because I'm going to do it a little bit each time, um, try to keep it under 10 minutes or so each time, So, um, and this, this will take a while, so let's just get started. So if you remember, um, I'm going to go to my MAME directory. It's in C drive, MAME uh, 01272. And I, I want to look at the Ninja Gaiden ROM um, game information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type MAME64 minus list XML Gaiden. And I'm going to redirect it to a file called Gaiden.txt. And you've seen me do this before if you watch any of my other videos. Um, and then let's do write Gaiden.txt, which will bring up some information. And this is the, um, when you do that, that gives me information about the game. And if I go down to uh, the ROM section, here are my CPU, my main game code ROM. There's ROMs for graphics and sound, but we don't really care about that. We want the main game code um, information. And when I went to look at this initially, I was very confused because normally when you look at this, you have a ROM file, a size, and an offset. And this makes sense. We start an offset zero. The size is 131072. The next one normally would be, um, you know, probably the same size, but the offset should be um, whatever the previous offset was plus the previous size. So the next, the, the, the offset should be 131072. And that wasn't working right. And when I was um, trying to load, I use another program, which we'll talk about in a, in a couple episodes, Ida Pro. I was trying to load uh, the ROMs into IDAPRO and it, nothing, it just wasn't making sense of my ROM files as I try to concatenate them together. And what I realized is um, this processor for Ninja Gaiden uses the Motorola 68000 CPU. And what's different about this is the Motorola 68000 CPU was r well advanced for its time. It was actually a 32-bit processor in a, when most other processors were 8 bits. And it used, rather than 8 bits at a time of, of, of when it accessed memory, it accessed memory in 16-bit chunks. So what's happening here, so if you took the ROMs and you concatenate them as normal and, and like threw them into a disassembler, things would just look confusing. Um, what's happening here is each of these ROM files is actually interleaved, that is, the, the rather than having you know rather than taking this ROM file and, and putting all the bytes in a row and then loading the next one the first the way the memory is made up is the first byte of the game RAM or the game ROM code um, is the first byte in this file and the next byte byte 2 is the first byte in this file then byte 3 would be the second byte in this file and byte four would be the second byte in this file. So every other byte is mixed. So we have to actually mix these guys together to do this, okay, to make this make sense of this. So, um, and, and I can show you how that actually, it, it, it is true. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll show you that. So let's go ahead and um, let's do a couple things first. Um, I have, In my directory, the the ROM file it may be called Gaiden or it may be called Shadow W because that actually Shadow W is what's called the parent. Um, Ninja Gaiden is a clone of or, or a rename of another game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract this file. And I'm going to go in here and the actual files that I want to look at are Gaiden. Here it is, Gaiden 1.3s and 2.4s, okay? That is what actually makes up the main game code. Now let's load up MAME with um, the debugger. And let's go to the memory address. And you can see what we have here is uh, we have you can see that it actually chunks the memory. If you, you looked from other games that we've we've looked at, um, each the other eight bit CPUs, each memory, um, each little location was just two numbers. That is one byte. 
Here we have four numbers, which is actually two bytes. It's 16 bits of data. Okay, um, so you can see that representation. And and let's actually look at now. So this is at address zero, which is the first um, part, the, the first address in the RAM. Okay, and let's look at Gaiden a one three with hex workshop or any hex um, viewer that you have hex workshop costs money but um, there are other ones that are free so you can see here that if I look at um, the first one if this is the first RAM as is mapped into the as we saw in the uh, the game information and we have address or at address zero we have zero and then address one we have 40 and you can see that's not correct right because I said that the in the game the first byte will be this byte and then the second byte will actually be the first byte of another file. So this makes sense. The first um, byte here is 00, zero just like it matches up here. But the next byte is 06. Well, let's open that next, um, the next file. And you can see the first byte in file 2 is 06. So that makes sense. It's 00, zero from the first file. Okay. And then 06 from the next file. And then we go back to the first file, the second byte, 40. We see 40, and then the next one, second byte, 00, and that matches. We go back to the first one, third byte, 00, and that matches here. And the second file, third byte, 00, and that matches there. Go back to the first one, you can see 04, and that matches here. And then the second one, C6. So we confirmed that that's what's going on, is each one byte of each file they're they're interspersed or interleaved to actually when the game in the game hardware okay that's probably done for, for, for performance reasons um, because um, well don't worry about it okay so we know that's the way it works so now when we work on this and we actually edit our own code we're gonna actually have to take these code these two files merge them into one file and then um, kind of work on that file and merge it back. So I wrote a little program to do that for us. And what did I call it? Gatenmerge.py. Actually, it should be called, yeah, gatenmerge.py. Wow. So we'll just view that. Write gatenmerge.py. And you can see this is just a Python file. If you've never used Python, you really should look into Python if you're going to do any programming at all. It's uh, a scripting language that's incredibly powerful. Um, you can actually write full-featured applications in Python. It, it's, it's pretty awesome. I haven't actually written Python for a while, so I actually, um, it's been a while. But um, anyway, I digress. So here's a, pr a program. Um, it's going to take, it's going to create, um, bunch of data it's going to read basically file one gate in 1.3s it's going to call that part one and then it's going to read file two call that part two and it's going to create a new file called merge file okay and it's going to open that for writing and then for every byte in um, from zero to the length of part one or part two they're both the same size it's going to write the first byte or it's going to byte, write a byte of the first file then a write byte of the second file to the new file called merge file and then when it's done it's going to close the file when we run this on the code um, we'll have a new file called gated merge bin so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to ROMs where I have it here where I've extracted shadow W and then I'm going to go to Gaiden and I'm just going to run the program to run it I run Python which you've already had it in you had to install Python, but uh, if you want Python, just Google Python. It's got an installer. It's free. You just click, uh, download it, click on it. It will install it for you. So I'm going to do Python dot dot um, directory dot dot directory dot dot. That means go back three directories because my actual program is three directories back. And it was called Gaiden Merge. Okay, it's going to be done. And when it's done, I'm going to do it on an LS dir. You can tell I work on Unix usually. Um, ls is a unix command um, so gate and merge dot bin and let's just look at this in hex workshop we already got it open so let's i'm just going to close down these guys let's open gate and merge dot bin and you can see let's make sure that this matches with what we expect in the memory map of, of uh, the game so 
we expect 0, 0, 0, 6, 0, 0, 0, 6, 4, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 4, C6. So you can tell this, this is correct. Okay, so now we have, um, when we get around to it, we will be able to actually um, work and edit this file. We'll edit this file, the gated merge, as we make our changes, and then we're actually have to split them back into the original files. So it's going to be a little more complicated than if you followed along with some any of my other ROM hacking um, episodes. But you know that's what you do when you're when you when you do this kind of work. You have to be able to kind of think on your feet and and make little tools um, to do things um, to do what you need to do. And again, Python's a great language to make real quick tools. It took me literally, even though I, if I had been using Python recently, it probably would have taken me a minute and a half to write this. Um, it probably took me like five minutes to write this because I couldn't remember the syntax of open or um, and all the syntax, so I had to look it up again. But uh, Python, amazing. Anyway, that's it for today. I said I'd be 10 minutes per episode. We're at 11 minutes according to my clock, so um, there we go. See you guys next time. Oh, yeah. If you like this, click like, tell your friends, become a Patreon. Well, you have to be a Patreon sponsor to see this. So tell your friends, um, whatever, get the word out. I really like making these videos, and I, I would like to make more. Um, but like I said, this takes a lot of time. So um, I'll, try, I'll do my best to try to give you guys some cool content. Take care.